What's up everybody, my name is Daz, welcome back to Motortick Mastery. I was just reminded by a brother in the comment section of um, my last YouTube video, where I came out pretty full power, pretty full power saying claim your condition, claim your tick, know that it is you, know that it is part of you. And I see and understand and can reflect on how at the beginning yeah, somebody telling me that was it was difficult to hear because it wasn't me, right? It wasn't me. It was I was moving. It was moving by itself. My body. These urges are constant, and I I, I couldn't do anything about it. And it's not until we start connecting to our body, cultivating awareness that we do get to see it is us. The tick is us, even though it doesn't feel like it is us. And that's why I teach what I teach, which is connecting to your body, expanding that awareness, doing the breath work, feeling yourself, your senses, your emotions, so that you can see the space in between the ticks and where the tick comes from, both physically, emotionally, mentally, what are the constructs that have kept it in there, in you, for so long? But, but he made a really good point. It's like, at the beginning, quite often, we don't have that awareness. We don't have that awareness. And that's okay. And that's okay. And so we're looking outside for all these answers because we think the outside is going to give us that, that, that solution. But it doesn't. Oftentimes it doesn't. Which is why we come back. We come back and we look in. We look inside. 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 We, look inside. we keep looking inside in ourselves. We keep introspecting. We keep feeling. We keep getting into the body. We keep doing our practice our practice of relating to us through meditation, through breath work, to, to other embodiment practices that helps us see. So I feel as if, yeah, this video is maybe a little bit, a little bit of a follow on from yesterday's video to continue the reminder that you are, you are in control of your body, nobody else. I've heard many times from emails from people and they've said to me, they've said to me, um, it feels like I'm, it feels like I'm possessed, you know? If you have a tick and your body's moving and flapping around, it does feel like you are possessed, doesn't it? Like if you have that, if you use that language in your vocabulary and your way of seeing the world, it's like feels like you are possessed because it's not you doing it it's something else possessing you and doing it and in one way you know to part of my audience here you will maybe understand the concept of demons the 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 darkness the shadow the unconscious parts of us that are that take over our behavior and uh, aspects of our life and for those of us that don't feel or see that type of psychology or spiritual seeing or want to go there and are very in the rational scientific world of seeing reality, then we can say, yeah, it's just an unconscious pattern. It's just we've built up an unconscious habit over many years, months, weeks, that is an accumulation or reaction to some sort of trauma or repeated experience or traumatic moment. And when I say trauma, it doesn't have to mean like a big traumatic event. Trauma can be very subtle. Trauma can be as, you know, you know, as, as, as subtle as a look from somebody on a street. And if you're in a particular mindset and a particular vulnerable um, experience that you're having in that moment and that glance just hits something inside you, that can sort of save a traumatic imprint in you for, for many years until you learn to or have transmuted that out, energetically healed that, emotionally released it. 
And so when I say trauma, I like, you know, I used to think trauma was a oh, big car crash, you know? Um, you know, things like rape, you know, really big traumatic thing that can affect people for life. And at the same time, trauma isn't just that. It's not. Trauma can be very subtle. And if you have this condition and your body's moving and ticking by itself, um, there are levels and subtleties of trauma that have been kind of saved somewhere in your beingness. And your job, your role to let go of the ticks is to start seeing the subtleties of all that uncomfortable trauma stuff that's kind of saved up in our being, our body, our mind, our fascia tissue, our, our emotional body. That's, that's your role if you want to go on the path of healing this, if you want to move beyond this. That's the role, that's the job, that's the path, that's the journey. And continuing from my yesterday yesterday's video, it's like, um, it's like, yeah, the feeling, the emotions in between, underneath the tick itself. That is, that is the release, that is the releasing, that is the letting go of the stuff that's got caught up. And as we keep letting go of the stuff that got caught up in our being, we we see and we realize that the body doesn't need to move in reaction to that stuff anymore. It can it can let go, it can become back to the gentle, peaceful state. Amen, aho. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, which is beautiful, huh? Which is super beautiful. And so, what I, what I want to share right now is like, how committed are you? Like, how committed are you? Are you still waiting for somebody to just like, doop, show you, do something, boom, it's gone? Or are you committed and are you committing and do you wish to commit? It does take some effort, some work, some progress, some some structure, some discipline to to follow this this path of then allowing. And it doesn't have to take years. I've seen incredible progress from people in a few weeks in my program from just doing breath work that's it huge progress 70 percent of ticks gone 80 percent of ticks gone in such a short period of time but it requires taking action not just consuming information on youtube and this is following on I guess to again yesterday's video it's like cool I gave you a blast yesterday and it's like okay what's next well you've got to take action you've got to create structure you've got to do something you have to it's not somebody else giving it to you you have to because it's your tick nobody else's not Bob down the street not your mother <laughs> it's your tick so claiming ownership over your tick means yes, yes, I can do this, I will do this, and I wish to do this. And if you are watching this video, clearly there is something in you wanting to find a solution. Wanting to do something about it. So here we are again, speaking into, <laughs> speaking into the void of YouTube and... Yeah, trusting that some of the words that I speak will land and support some people that might watch this now or in the future with no expectation of what might or might not be, you know? And that's, again, one of the tricks of life when it comes to, yeah, 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 one of the tricks of life, letting go of control, letting go of um, outcome, living, doing my best, playing, experiencing, creating, making, but letting go of the outcome. 
we try and hold on to the outcome, hold on to those emotions, we're trying to hold on to things, uh, like hold on to our body, we're trying to hold, uh, hold on, uh, 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 uh. then we're going to create more suffering. So again, I'm teaching somatically here, through my body to you, that that holding, that tick is a part of you still holding. And um, and in the path, the journey of letting go, of healing, of moving beyond this condition, we learn to let go all of our holdings. And when I say holdings, I mean holdings physically in the body, holding on to those emotions, I don't want to, right? <laughs> holding on to our mental constructs and thinking that we know it all, right? All this stuff. We let it all go. We let go of the thinking we know. We, lo we let go of the thinking we know best. We let go of the thinking that I am right. Let it all go. It's the letting go where we find freedom and peace and love and relaxation. We come back to where we came from because we came into this life with an abundance of love and energy and beauty and peace and tranquility. Just look into a baby's eyes child and their curiosity and playfulness that's still the natural state of us it's just we've built all these layers of like stuff that we've piled on top of the beauty of just what is and so by letting go of the what is letting go of all of the constructs letting go of the trauma letting go of the emotions letting go of the tick we come back 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 come back we find place again inside <sighs> okay I'm gonna leave it there for today sending my love and wishing you so well wherever you are on this delightful planet I, I hope my words resonate and land and allow something to move in you and uh, talk to you soon ciao ciao